Let's head over to Mark, who's got salmon on the menu. How are you, Mark? Yeah, good, good, thank you. Yep, yeah, we've got salmon on the menu. It's a beautiful fillets of salmon. I'm going to show you how to get a nice crispy skin on that. And we've got a really fresh herby quinoa to uh, serve with it. A nice little yoghurt dressing and some raw shaved fennel, which we're just going to do at the very last minute to give us a nice crunch and freshness to the dish. And I've just put the quinoa on now. So I've got two parts water to one part quinoa. And we just bring it up to the boil, cook it really slow for about 15, 20 minutes until it's cooked. And then I'll show you what else to do with it a bit later. Now it's over to Mel. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen. Mark, we are making quinoa. <laughs> quinoa. Quinoa. Quinoa, yeah. quinoa and salmon. Yum. OK. Yeah. So, I always like your dishes because, you know, it sounds pretty simple, but I tell you what, you're going to chefify it, aren't you? No, no, it's really simple. So it's really simple. It's nice. all about different flavours, getting the most uh, flavour you can get in uh, products yep. and uh, texture as well. How did you get your quinoa looking so good? Every time I've attempted, it's gone a bit flat, but this is nice and fluffy. <laughs> So two parts water, yes. one part quinoa, bring it up to the boil and then just cook it really slowly nice. um, for about 15, 20 minutes until all the, the liquids evaporated. Nice. You know, so that's a really simple way of doing it, but you can add flavours in there if you want. You can put spices in there, you can okay. do it with stocks if you want, you yeah. know, anything you want. Bit of a superfood at the moment, isn't it? Everyone's loving it. It is, everyone, everyone loves it and it's, uh, you know, it's great. You can get it tasty, it's got some nice texture in there. Nice. Um, and then it's, you know, it's going to be a base. We're going to put lots of herbs for it as well, so we're keeping Good. it quite plain, so that's why we just use some water. Okay, now if you want any of the recipes at thecafe.co.nz is where you will find them. What are you doing here? Right, so we've got a bit of courgette. Yep. So I'm just going to just slice it with a knife, just nice and uh, fine. You didn't peel it? A little bit. No, no, didn't no. Just peel it. Okay. What are you going to do with these? A bit of salt and pepper, olive oil, and then we're going to griddle these as well. Okay, okay? Cool. So we've got a nice, nice uh, vegetable there. Yep. So I'll give that to you. You Sweet. can get some nice uh, colour on there. I certainly so can. So it's so thin, it won't take long. Probably okay. like a minute or two, uh, and then that will be done. Okay, deal. Right, so we've got the uh, quinoa. Uh, so it's nice and hot, so I just fluffed it up a little bit. And then in that, we've got some lemon juice. So I'm just going to squeeze the lemon juice in, try not to get any pips in it there. So that goes in. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there, just to loosen it, help loosen it. Uh, and then give it some good seasoning. So, a good bit of salt and pepper in there. Yep. And then that's going to be our base, so it's nice and fresh. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to put lots of uh, herbs through there. So, you know, you can use any herbs you want, whatever you like. You know, I've got some garlic chives today, so I'm going to chop that up there. We've got some um, parsley yep. and some basil as well. And do you have to do this while it is warm, or does it not matter? This well, you probably want to, because these are all soft herbs. Yeah. You know, the parsley and the basil. So you probably want to let it cool down a little bit a first. Little. Okay, yeah. cool. But, you know, it's sort of all last minute. You know, we should be really um, chopping this up, putting it through, have a little bit of heat in there mm. so it brings out the flavour. And then we want to be eating it pretty much straight away. OK, and you're using fennel today too, aren't you? Yeah, yeah so we've got fennel. So, th so that's going to be a nice part of the uh, dish as well. And there's a little trick here with uh, fennel. You know, you can buy the fennel like this, so you've got yep. the whole thing, so we're going to use the whole of the fennel. Oh, good. Right. So these top bits, so if I take that off, so if you just give that a smell, yeah. so what does that smell like? Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that might fennel, be my fingers. <laughs> but it's like dill. Oh, yeah, it is. No, it's, it's, like right. um, yeah. it's fennel, so it's very, very, very mm. similar to dill. So if you just pick this off and chop this through, you know, oh, it's, uh, it's, you know it's great, we're using it's great we're flavour using as well. It. Yeah, so you're utilising the whole thing. So we're going to get some of that in there as well. OK. This is about right for your... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Probably yeah, do a little yeah. more, can we? You can get a little bit more colour. So it's all about colour. OK. So you're getting the colour on there and you're also cooking it as well. So you can see it's sort of starting to go a little bit limp. OK, <laughs> so just fold the herbs through. It's a technical term. Thank that you, yes, that's right. <laughs> that usually never happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so you've got all those all those herbs in there. Oh, that's smelling so good. So that's all uh, that's all pretty much ready to go. So we've used the fennel top and now we're going to grate some fennel for a little bit of crunch. Yeah. Is that what yeah. you said you're gonna so do? You, yeah, so you can do this. So I'm just gonna take the core off. And then you can see the core in here, and it's always easier if you're going to uh, slice some fennel. You cut it in half, just yep. so you can work with it, and carefully just going to do a triangular cut. I'm going to take that core out, because it's a, bit, a little bit woody. OK, so we don't want the core. No, and then either a really sharp knife or a mandolin, and you just do some nice thin slices, OK? Don't want it too thin, you want you do want a little bit of texture there. Yeah. You know, but we are going to serve this raw, so you don't want massive, massive thick chunks of it. OK. And then what we're going to do is pop that into a bowl. Shoot bits hot. And then... <laughs> then, and then once, once the, fennel, uh, once the uh, courgette's Cougette? cooked, yes. yeah, we can just pop it onto a plate. OK, cool. 
You can pop it onto the same plate it's come out in. And then just to dress this fennel, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and some more fresh lemon juice as well. Okay, well, this is all... Oh, no one saw that. That's all right. <laughs> Guests didn't see that. Um, this is all smelling fantastic. You're going to come back and show us how to do the uh, salmon in just a minute. Right now, though, let's check in with Holly. We need to do what here, Mark? Can I just say, I just tasted some of that. Um, it is really nice, isn't it? Yeah, so it's really good. So slice it really thin and it's crunchy, it's mm. fresh, it's juicy, it's great. And if you if you just dress it with the olive oil and the lemon for a couple of minutes before you just use it... Just softens it up? It just softens nice. it lightly, yeah. So you still get that crunch. Uh, and I'm taking the, the mixture of the herbs and the quinoa along with the fennel. Just helps cut through the salmon a bit, does oh, it? definitely. You sounded like a chef more yeah. and more every day. No, no, I can, <laughs> I can taste it because I had a little try of the quinoa as well. <laughs> just picking out here, really. Um, but OK, now it's time for the salmon. What are you going to do? Yeah, so we've got the salmon, so um, you can griddle it as well if yep. you want to do it all in one pan. So it's really good, works really well on the griddle. But I thought we were going to um, still be griddling, so that's why I've got a different pan there. A little bit of olive oil. I've seasoned the skin, mm. and I'm just going to pop it in. Pop it down, pop it away from you, just in case you get any splash. There's a little okay. tip for you. And just control it on a nice medium heat. Medium heat. And we want to do most of the cooking on the skin side. So I've just turned that down low, so it's just bubbling away there. We'll get it nice and crispy, we'll flip it over. We still want to serve it nice and pink. Okay. Okay, so you've got, you've got the different textures and freshness of the quinoa, the fennel, mm. we've got the warm griddle courgettes, and then we're now we're going to do a little dressing as well. So okay. I've got a little bit of olive oil in here. Yep. So really quick, and just some yoghurt. Okay. In that, so pop some of that in. Okay. Let's give it a good mix around. Nice quick dressing. Yeah, and then we're going to put some lemon juice in there. And then, you know, you can put some herbs through this if you want as well. Yep. Actually, I'll get you to pick some more of these okay, and we'll just finish it with a little bit That's of this cool. as well. Okay, nice. Let's make sure you get all the oil in. And you've chosen this dressing specifically because we're using salmon? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it just gives a, you know, nice creamy dish, uh, creaminess to the dish as well now, you know, with the yoghurt. We've got richness, we've got texture, we've got freshness, you know, it's just nice to have that creaminess in as well. Mm, yeah. So, relatively simple recipe, but when you sit down and eat it all and you get all those different textures and flavours together, it's just going to be a winner. I tell you what, um, I've really enjoyed all your recipes over the last couple of weeks, and that monkfish in particular, it's something that I've never eaten before, a monkfish. It was in a curry, and it was so nice. You can go back and have a look at all the old recipes at thecafe.co.nz, also on our Facebook page. So go and try them out, put them on Facebook if you make one, and uh, let us know how it goes. Right, we'll just have a look at the salmon now. So just carefully, just flip it up. Just have a look so you can sort of see now, you're starting to get a little bit of colour, but we yep. want a little bit more. You're going to leave it? Yeah, okay, so cool. we're going to leave it there. Um, if you can go a bit lower, go a little bit lower now because we've got the heat in the pan. Just, it's all about steady controlled heat. Okay, so we started off medium, now we're going a little bit lower, yeah, checking little... for the colour on the back of the skin. Yeah, a little bit lower, and then when we flip it over, it's going to be a lot faster because it's really lean, the uh, meat, and really soft Yum. and delicate, so the heat is going to penetrate like, a lot more. Nice work. And I'll just show you now. We'll flip it now. You happy? Yeah, that's good. So if you feel that nice and crispy, starting oh, yeah, to get that colour. So maybe about another minute on the bottom side, get a nice brown colour. If the salmon was a little bit thicker, we could do the both the sides there. Nice. And then maybe sort of take it out, let it rest, and it'll be nice and pink and juicy in the centre. OK, brilliant. Well, we are slowly bringing all the elements here together, and soon we will see what it looks like when we present it at the end of the show. OK, Mark, time to serve up that delicious salmon and herbs. Quinoa! <laughs> Get it right. Well, oh, so we've got the uh, quinoa there underneath. We've put the uh, griddled courgettes on. A little bit of this fennel goes on top. And you've got a nice pile for that beautiful piece of salmon. Ah, oh, and, and then you're dressing. Just finish it with a little bit of yogurt nice around work. the side. And there you go. Beautiful, fresh. Tasty dish. I've heard little oh. bits of it and it's an explosion of goodness in your mouth. It is honestly so nice. Very yeah. Yeah. different, yeah. actually. Yeah. What are you doing on Wednesday? Well, Wednesday we've got crispy squid and prawns and we're making our own sweet chili sauce. It's nice, different, unusual. You did, didn't you? Uh